$5 value meal. It's kind of a throwback. Haven't seen it in a while. I think the real question for McDonald's, is this going to increase customer traffic? And overall, despite the discount on the value meal, is this going to increase sales? I do think it'll uh, increase customer traffic. I do think it'll increase sales. Um, you know, ultimately the question is, uh, is it profitable sales? Is it actually going to drive, you know, a, a profits to the bottom line? But it'll definitely increase traffic. It will increase, increase sales. So what do you make of this, I guess, $5 value war? I don't know. When it's a chicken sandwich, we call it the chicken wars. I don't quite have a catchy way to do this $5 value meal deal. The fact that Burger King and Wendy's are doing the same thing, what does that mean for this group of stocks overall long term? Um, are customers, are they going to come back and stay because of the $5 value meal, or will they just come and enjoy the, you know, the, the discount and then leave again when the prices go back up? You know, frankly, it's not surprising this is happening. We've seen it uh, in, oh. in previous periods over the past, you know, two or three decades. Every time we have uh, restaurant inflation that's over and above grocery inflation uh, for any extended period of time, you know, there, there tends to be a, a share shift, you know, towards the grocery and away from particularly QSR. Uh, and, and, and that's because, you know, the lower household, uh, they tend to use QSR as meal replacement. Uh, much more often, about a third of transactions within QSR is the sort of under 70k household, uh, you know, customer, and they tend to migrate between grocery and and QSR, uh, you know, based on sort of pricing and, and inflation. So, uh, you know, historically we've seen that in in, in previous periods, uh, it'll it'll go away once once sort of the grocery inflation normalizes versus restaurant inflation. All right, so McDonald's and Miss, the prices have gone up just about 40% since 2019. According to your research, that pretty much goes for every company in the fast food or fast casual space. Um, prices going up about 35 to 40% compared to full service restaurants, only seeing a 25% increase. What does it mean for that full service restaurant group um, in the medium term, at least? So you're saying short term, these $5 value meals are going to give a boost, but medium term, the fact that full service hasn't seen the same price increases. We, we have been hoping that, you know, full service benefits uh, relative to, to QSR and fast casual. Uh, unfortunately, we haven't seen that materialize necessarily uh, because on an absolute basis, those prices still remain very high. Uh, but, you know, there is some hope that uh, over the longer term, you know, because that gap is smaller, that will end up benefiting full service in the longer term. Let's just talk all overall about some of the pressures on some of these fast food companies. Um, we mentioned the $5 meals, they're competing on price. And then there's also minimum wage that's hitting uh, California in particular. Um, overall, as we look at these companies continuing to try to compete on price, what does this mean for overall margins? What does this mean for profit um, as we continue to look at these stocks? Well, so even, if, even though prices are up 40%, for example, in QSR since 2019, margins are actually lower than 2019 for most franchisees across most brands. Um, so there are a lot of, you know, cost pressures, ongoing cost pressures. They're not necessarily easing. Um, and so the outlook isn't too bright um, for, for, for profitability, uh, you know, across the restaurant space, not just QSR, particularly as, uh, you know, things like labor remain in that 4 to 5% range in, in terms of annual inflation. So if you look at guidance across, you know, the industry uh, for 2024 and into 2025, especially on the labor side, you know, inflation is, is, has remained sticky. Um, and so in that sort of 4 to 5% means we're probably going to have to see 3% price pricing, 3% plus pricing within restaurants just to offset overall inflation depending on where food cost inflation lands.